Hello YouTube, well, welcome back. I'm glad to be back as well. So this guide here is going to show you how to get the shield, the sword, uh, navigate through the mysterious forest, and um, what to do with the raccoon. And maybe you're here for the raccoon part because I was kind of, you know, confused on it too. So I'm um, glad you can stop by. And as well, this is going to show us the location of the tail cave. So that's our first dungeon. So let's go ahead and start off on getting the sword. So we're going to start here. You can pull up your map by hitting the negative button or the minus button on your remote controller. You're going to go ahead and follow this yellow path here. Um, this this uh, to obtain the sword is pretty simple and um, just go ahead and follow my steps. So for this enemy here, you can use your shield to block their attacks. Okay, so you do have a shield. So if you equip your shield, you can actually move these um, spike enemies here. I wouldn't really say they're enemies, they don't do much, but these objects. Alright, so once you move this one here, and be careful because if they do touch you, they do hurt you. So this is where the sword is located. So once you find the sword, this owl will come and talk to you and tell you that you need to go up north. So up north is the mysterious forest. And what you need to do in the mysterious forest, just so I can give you a rough update on a little brief summary. You need to make a magic potion and then spray it on the raccoon. So the magic potion is made with a mushroom that you give to the witch, but we are going to go step by step and go through everything with you. Alright, so now we have a sword so we can go ahead and use it. If you hold the attack button, you do a spin attack. This is going to play a big role later in the future, so just stay tuned to those guides. I am currently working on my first dungeon. I have completed it. I just need to edit it. So if you're looking, if you're watching this, you can jump onto the next video if you have any issues. I would recommend you try it yourself just to see how it is and so you, you know there won't be any spoilers. But my videos are out there to help if you need the help. Alright, so we're coming back up the path that we just came through. So instead of going to the forest, which is north, we're going to take a little, a little, uh, a little side path here, and this is going to show us um, where this little piece of heart is here. So once you collect four of these hearts, you can make, you can get an additional heart. But this is a small heart, so you can see on the top left as you go to your your menu. So you need to collect four to get a big heart, so it can add it to your actual health. So we're here at the village, we're going to go up this path. So we're going to go furthest left here, and then we're going to destroy this bush. And this is the mysterious forest. It is not very complicated if you're looking at the map and following my directions, but you're really not going to be missing out on anything because I have went through every single part of this. And don't. there is a fairy, but the fairy only gives you um, health if you need it. You don't miss anything, you don't miss any secrets, there's nothing that you can get or miss that's valuable. So we're going to go up this path right here, then we're going to take a right and then in between these trees and then to this log. So we need to get to this log. So we're going to go up right here. So these enemies here, you can hold your shield out and it will deflect this spear that they throw. Same thing here, just block it and attack it. So right here is the in-between trees portion, and here's the log. So it really isn't too complicated as long as you're following the map. I do put the map out just so you can kind of get a visual idea. I know I kind of rush through these things, but it's just I want the video as short as possible. So this portion here, um, you really don't need to do any of this, but I mean it's, it's rubies, you get rubies for it. So, Go ahead and kill these bats here, and these platforms here, they break. So as you can see, that platform there broke. So you can push the rock, just go ahead and push against it, and you should be able to push it. And then just hit A, open it, and right there is 50 rupees. So I found this, looking at the path, there's no way to go back. So if you just take the little edge of it, you should be alright. Alright, so 
so on that other portion where you saw that heart right now we cannot obtain that at the level that we are so this this is another type of enemy and you have to use your shield to block its attack and then attack it and once it attacks it when it once it attacks your shield it gets stunned so this was that mushroom that we needed so we're gonna take the mushroom to the witch so we're just gonna go ahead and go back through the path that we went through um there's really no other way to get out so go ahead and follow this, these steps if you like and you really don't have to kill these enemies anymore i just ran through them like i said y'all are not missing out on anything don't feel like oh I don't want you to feel rushed or anything. I went through everything before I made this video. I went through it about three or four times just to make sure I didn't miss anything for y'all. So this is the path we're gonna go. We're gonna head up north here and then take a right. And then that is gonna put us to another area. So this is the one that attacks. So you put your shield up. He attacks you as it gets stunned. These enemies here, they can actually um, leech onto your face and then slow you down. So this is another area of the map so once you go to a different area it kind of like unlocks it for you so right here is where the witch is at so this um, enemy here he has a, a, a electricity so make sure you don't um, hit him or try to shield bash him or anything and that fish was throwing fire it's, it's some crazy crazy enemies here all right so there's this this is the witch right here you're gonna turn in your potion here to her Okay, so once you get this potion, you can equip it to X or Y, so you can choose what you like. If you like um, that torch on the bottom right, you can actually light it with the potion that you get. This is the magic powder, not potion, magic powder. So you can actually light that. Um, it doesn't really give you anything. It does prompt like a, a little dialogue, but go ahead and do it if you need to. I forgot to do it on the video, but it's there if if you like and just so you can be aware if you ever get to a place that you need a light a lamp and you see it you can throw your powder on there and it should um, light it up for you so I highlighted the path that we needed to head so we're heading that way now so we're pretty much retracing our steps so now we are going to the raccoon so the raccoon is having difficulties um, smelling if I'm not mistaken so we're going to give him this potion and it should fix it. So we're heading down this path here. And then remember in between those trees, we're just going to go back to that. We're really going back to where we started, but we're going to take a right right here. So we're going to take a right, kill some enemies. The grass does slow you down. That's why I go ahead and just remove it. So this is the raccoon. You go ahead and talk to him. You don't need to talk to him, but... Then you can press the X button and you throw the magic powder or the Y depending on where you have it. Okay, so the raccoon was a man. I have no idea how that occurred, but that's that Zelda for you. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open this here. And boom, this is the tail key. So this one's gonna open the, the gate towards the first dungeon. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all where the dungeon is after, after this dialogue here. So I'm going to open up the map and we're going to head back to pretty much where we started and we're going to go back to past that well and instead of going all the way down we're going to take a it'd be left once you're heading down that path and it's going to be right there so let's go ahead and head down there for any questions guys please leave it in the comment hopefully someone can answer it for you if I don't get to it in a timely manner.
and leave suggestions that would help help me create the content better. Was I too fast? Was I too slow? Um, should I talk a lot less? Should I talk a lot more? What 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 can I do to help you? I know everyone learns a little different, but I would like some feedback on seeing what you prefer. I can also do text. Um, the reason I probably don't do text is because I do have a, a younger audience, and it's better for them to. Um, visually see, see it then actually read it so this is the dungeon right here all right guys so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed if i helped you in any way please like and subscribe i am gonna have a walkthrough for every possible thing that i can think of that would be useful um dungeon one video should be coming like 15 minutes after this one so any questions let me know and thanks for watching guys